Hey guys, this is Shannon from Skip to My Life. On today's episode, I'll show you how to make a high-end coffee bar even if you think you don't have any space for it. Let's get going. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. I've been dreaming of a Pinterest-worthy coffee bar for quite a while, but this is what I greet every morning when I get up, and it just wasn't what I was hoping for. As you can see, our coffee maker has seen better days. It works just fine, but just a little bit dingy, and this area looks a little cluttered to me. I started with this worn out piece of pine wood that we had had in our garage for quite some time. I'm not really even sure where I picked it up, but I know I have seen these in uh, discard piles at the hardware store, so no need to spend a lot. The measurements for your coffee bar are gonna be unique to where you would like to place it. So after I had thoroughly sanded the board, I measured where I would like my handles to go on each end and put about five inches in between each side of those handles. Next, I simply drilled two holes on each side of that board for the handles to go. And this was the unsung work. You know, there's always that part of the project that no one really sees. And it's not really fun, but once that was over, now we get to start the fun part of painting. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I get most of my paints at what's called the Boneyard. So these are paints that have been mixed and someone has returned them. This can had seen better days and I realized I was just gonna get one more use out of it because the paint had really thickened in the heat of summer as I had kept it in my storage area. But it worked just fine for this little project. You could certainly stop just with painting whatever color you like, but I chose to distress this board just a little bit by sanding off some of that gray paint and then painting with a dry brush technique some white chalk paint. If you're having fun watching this video so far, don't forget to click the like thumbs up button and let me know. Now I'm taking a wood bead garland that I purchased at Hobby Lobby, and I'm just gonna glue one of those wood beads to each corner of the underside of this plank. Now this is gonna serve as feet and keep that coffee bar raised just a little bit off the surface of my counter. Next, we'll make some wood bead handles for each side of this coffee bar. And I'm just measuring the length that I want that handle to be. Now, if I was gonna do this over again, I would cut a much longer segment of rope and I'm gonna show you why in just a minute. Now I'm threading those wood beads through the rope. I did double that rope up to make it just a little bit more sturdy. And for ease of use, I put some scotch tape on the end of those strands of rope to make them easier to thread those wood beads. Okay, so now we've flipped that board over. We're on the top side and we're attaching the handle as we want it to look. And next I'll turn that coffee bar over and you'll see that I'm gonna super glue the area that indents into those little holes just for a stronger hold. I'm gonna clip that off and let it dry and then after I'm finished, I will tie a really strong knot. Now this is why I wish I had made the rope longer because I could have just tied those two ends together. It would have saved me a lot of time. So you guys learn from my mistakes as usual and make the, your project look even better than mine. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big welcome. We're so glad you're here. We have so much fun at Skip to My Life and I sure hope that you will subscribe and come back for even more small space decorating and organizing. Now it's time to remove everything from my coffee corner and clean it. I finally found that cherry blossom cleaner from Dollar Tree that everyone has been raving about. To use all of the space in the corner of my coffee area, I'm going to create a raised tray using one of those rectangular trays from Dollar Tree as well as two candlesticks. Now these candlesticks are glass and I have used them for multiple projects, so right now they're black 
and I'm just going to be super gluing them onto the bottom of that tray. And next, presto, we're going to prime that whole raised tray with white primer and then cover it in the same gray paint we used for the wooden plank. I have used these rectangular trays before. Some of you have seen my three-tier tray that I keep on my kitchen table. And one of the things I love the most about it is it looks so high-end when you distress it with just a little bit of white chalk paint because it has that beading texture. It really looks beautiful. Now for the big reveal, we're going to be putting together my DIY coffee bar. I promise you that no matter how small the space you're living in, you can adapt these ideas and make your own adorable Pinterest-worthy coffee bar. So I decided to go ahead and purchase a new coffee maker. This is the Walmart Mainstays version and it was only $11. So I just decided I was gonna give it a try. I'll let you know how it stacks up. And I also added a little plant in the background to cover up that cord. The raised tray in the background allows me to keep my coffee press out, which I actually love to use, but I really don't use it very often because I forget about it. So now I'll have it right there where I can see it every morning. The glass containers we keep our coffee and our filters in are from Walmart. And these two adorable mugs are brand new at Dollar Tree. So here's the before my cluttered little coffee corner that really didn't help me start the day with a smile. And here, my friends, is the after. I just love the way this turns out. It looks so fresh and clean and I can't wait to put it to use. Make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how I styled this new coffee bar for the fall season. But to truly have a Pinterest-worthy DIY coffee bar, we need to decorate it for the season. And so I'm going to use these wall decals from Dollar Tree as a backdrop for my DIY coffee bar. Next, I'm using a salt and pepper shaker that I purchased at Dollar Tree. I'll fill one with pumpkin pie spice and another with nutmeg and label them so everyone knows which is which. And this just takes my coffee bar to the next level for fall. If you're coming back to skip to my life, I am so glad you're here. Thank you to all my subscribers. I have just reached 2000 and I will be posting a little celebration in not too long. much for coming along on today's episode. Don't forget to comment below and let me know your favorite idea from today's episode. And until we meet up again, don't forget that you are my hero. Don't you quit. We'll see you next time on Skip to My Life.